Come on! Abbott's chance. Look at him. Four. Right across. Finished. Nice Ben White. Everything is going. Arsenal's way. It's a lucky. Lucky. He shinned it. <laughs> oh, it was a privilege to watch a game with you two. I'm glad I'm not with him Sunday, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to wait and see first, yeah. won't we? Well, yeah, mm. it's true. Against Chelsea in this pivotal Premier League week that has begun with that five-star show for the Gunners. Four games on Wednesday, most notably the Merseyside derby. Liverpool have to try and match Arsenal and just keep winning their games, but that, of course, uh, is a big game on Merseyside. Everton boosted by that win uh, against Nottingham Forest on Sunday. Also Wolves, Bournemouth, Newcastle still very much in the European hunt are away at Palace. Manchester United welcome the bottom club, Sheffield United. And then it is all eyes on the reigning champions trying to win four Premier Leagues in a row. Pep Guardiola's Manchester City go to Brighton on Thursday evening. So that is exactly what Arsenal wanted tonight. That was the target, up to 77 points. Four clear of City, three clear of Liverpool. Liverpool will go back level on points with them on Wednesday if they beat Everton, but perhaps significantly as well. Another extension of Arsenal's goal difference tonight with those five. As you can see, they're 12 better than Manchester City and 13 ahead of Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. Chelsea stay in ninth on 47 points. They do have two games in hand on West Ham above them. Much more from Glenn and from Wrighty to come. Plus all the reaction, we'll talk to the main protagonists at the Emirates Stadium. Congratulations, guys, on a five-star performance in this amazing atmosphere at the Emirates. What worked so well for you out there tonight? Um, I think the early goal helped us a lot as well um, and after that I think we played so well we had a lot of chances and uh, today yeah, we, we turned them to goals and uh, yeah it's a great night for us. Then you guys turned it up a gear in the second half both of your goals came particularly for your first one how important was the timing of that in the game just to get that cushion at that point? Yeah um, we know we know we can score goals and you know today it was it was a, a quick game and it was so fast so you know, it was uh, important to, to put the ball away when, when we had the chance. Well, you don't score many, Ben. Tonight you got two. The second one, did you mean it? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let everyone else uh, decide. Take the credit. Take the credit. He, he, meant, he meant that. A goal is a goal. Doesn't matter. A goal's a goal, isn't it? Um, in terms of the clean sheets again tonight, this team constantly getting clean sheets this season. 21 in all competitions now. How proud are you playing in this team with such a solid defence for Ben and, it and, the, and the rest of them? Yeah, it's amazing. Um, they said clean sheets help you win games, and that's what it is. Uh, we know if we, can, if we score the goal, that uh, a lot of times, yeah, we just we can win by one 0 But obviously, we want to go for more. And today is the perfect night where we can where we score loads of goals. And um, yeah, it's, some, it's credit to everyone because I think everyone works so hard defensively, attackers, midfielders, and uh, yeah, we are just one team and you can see that on and off the pitch so uh, I'm really happy to be here. Does that just prove Ben the mentality in this team as well? Yeah, um, you know it's not just the defence, it's uh, keeping the clean sheets, it's, you know, the wingers are working so hard um, tracking back and it's so, it's so important for us. Um, if, it, if, if our opposition doesn't score then we've got a chance of winning the game so yeah it's, uh, it's amazing. Um, you know it's going right when your <laughs> right back scores two and right? yeah. as you described one off his shin. Uh, but like Ben White's performance tonight, you know, uh, in a in a game where you know we know how how well he can get round Saka, you know what I mean? Because Kukurea causes him so much problems in respect of the marking. So to see him get on the score sheet, but do what he does on a weekly basis, getting round that that winger is getting round Saka is is brilliant. And good luck to him tonight. He, got, he deserved his luck with a goal as well. Mm. Uh, let's speak to our good friend who played in that position sometimes for Arsenal, who's been watching at the Emirates Stadium. Colo Torre. Come on then, Colo. Do you ever score any like that from right back? <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I wish, but no, unfortunately. <laughs> How impressed were you with that second half performance in particular? 
Uh, yeah, very, very impressed with his second, second half of Arsenal. I think in the first half they should have been two up, in my opinion, and then uh, I think in the second, in the second half they, 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 they really played the way they should and uh, they create uh, chances and uh, they capitalize the chances, which was uh, very, very important. You could see that Chelsea were dangerous on the break, especially in the first half. But uh, I think uh, overall, Arsenal dominate all this game. Arsenal deserve the win, and uh, the, this is the, this is brilliant from this team because I think that they deserve what they're doing right now. They play fantastic football uh, tonight, and uh, as a fan there, I was really delighted to see how they perform and how how they control that game. Yeah, they went for the throw ruthless tonight. Absolutely, absolutely, they were ruthless. And uh, they creating uh, create a lot of chances, and uh, they, they score them. You know, the first goal was brilliant. I think, uh, and second goal as well. You know, you can see here Ben White, perfect he score. And uh, Harvard was on fire. He played really, really well and scored a, a two brilliant goal. He deserved because he, he's a hard worker. He worked really hard for the team, and I think uh, he was really, really good uh, uh, tonight. Definitely. They're sharing the goals around, Colo, aren't they? P pardon? They're sharing the goals around. Absolutely. And before the game, uh, we were talking, and I was talking to one of uh, uh, um, journalists there. They asked me about Saka. They said uh, the Saka need to score more goals now. I was, I was, I said to uh, to her that uh, it's very important that uh, this is the moment that you know you don't want to count only on your best players. You need to have the players around your best player to perform. And that's what Arsenal did. Saka today, you could say, around your best player to perform. And that's what Arsenal did. Saka today, you could see that uh, um, he, he, was, he was well marked by Kukurela. And uh, Ben White uh, did, what, uh, did what he needed to do, which he was uh, to do the all overlaps. And he scored uh, uh, the, the, the second goal. And that was really, really important for us to have players around those top players to perform. Now, we know it's not in Arsenal's hands, but all they can do is their job. They've done it emphatically tonight with four left to go. If you're in that dressing room, what even scoring five against Chelsea, their biggest ever win in this a Premier League fixture against them. What would that do to the, to the dressing room at this critical stage? I think that showed the strength of this team. This is a team that have uh, fantastic players. This is a team that play with a lot of energy. This is a team that uh, can beat any team. And I think that the, the Aston Villa was uh, one of the uh, one of the game that uh, they, they, they didn't perform bad. They didn't play bad, but. I think they haven't managed to score the, 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 the occasion that they, they created. But I think tonight they were really clinic, the clinical. Everybody who, were, uh, who was very focused. They played with high intensity and they scored those goals who make the difference. Credit to the, to the, to the gaffer again. He's doing a brilliant job. And uh, yeah, I hope that they keep going and doing what they're doing right now. And that's all they can do is, is put some sort of pressure on your other former club, Manchester City. Who Absolutely. now play on Thursday? Absolutely, I think I think tonight was huge for Arsenal because when you uh, you you play first and uh, you win your games, the other team that is uh, in competition with you are under pressure because they have to perform. Now Arsenal have, uh, have uh, four points on Man City and three points on Liverpool, and I think that uh, you know this is this is huge psychologically. For, uh, for, for Arsenal and psychologically for Liverpool and Man City, they can see the pressure. Of course, City are used to that kind of situation and we know that they can, you know, they can beat any team in that moment of the year. That's where they are really, really strong, clinical. They don't give any chance, but I think Arsenal done their job and now they can, they can look what will happen with the other uh, two contenders. Absolutely. And the good news is on May the 19th, Carlo, I can still say to you, your former club won the Premier League title. You've got all, all bases covered, haven't you, with the top three? So you're all right. <laughs> absolutely. 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 I'm lucky. <laughs> you're more than lucky, my friend. Well done. Th nice to see you again. Thank you very much, Colo. Thank you very much, guys. Nice to talk to you. That's Colo Toro. Arsenal lead Chelsea by goal to nil. Chelsea have had more possession, though at the Emirates, but Maurizio Pochettino's side, as you can see, yet to have an effort on target. 13 shots from Arsenal 
in that first half. And crucially, after four minutes, one found its way into the back of the net from Leandro Trossard, and that is the difference. And that's a reward for a really fast Arsenal start, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, How do you expect him to start? It's a, it's a, it's a really well-constructed... Kai Havertz comes off well. One touch there from Thomas Partey, and then this is where he wants Declan Rice. This is why Thomas Partey's in the team to release Declan Rice, and that's just power through the keepers, just power. It's just a lovely little point. Havertz gets himself in between the two defenders and comes off, and, and it looks so simple. And there, Rice, I love Rice in that position. Drive, that reminds me of a Vieira, the way Vieira used to drive forward. Wow. But Trossard there, it's a, it goes for parrying, but yeah. when you go for power, it's about hitting the target. Absolutely, Gaffer. Because and, and that's, that's what can happen. Goal. You know, yeah. the goalkeeper's got to move his feet. He's going to try and get his feet to it, but it's all about the power and hitting it clean through the keeper. And if it doesn't go through him, it can go down by the side of yeah. his foot. Andy felt the, the goalkeeper was at fault. What did you think? Well, I think when you sit in slow motion and whatever, you might say, oh, well, might have got... But you know what? It's, it, it, the distance was, was, was mm. really far. He's really hit that with power. Sometimes it's your foot as a keeper and it goes off and everyone goes, well done. You know, it goes for a corner. This time it's hit his shin and mm. just shot off his shin. I don't think he technically could have done much, much yeah. more, really. OK. Of those 13 Arsenal attempts, a couple of uh, areas when Kai Havertz... Uh, you feel could have done better. Yeah, no, just made a different, some different choices. Um, I think when you look at this, this one here, you know, I feel like maybe can, maybe could slot that maybe in the side. I don't know. Maybe because I'm right-footed, I come straight and maybe slot it down there, try and hit it through his legs. You can maybe go through there, but he doesn't look like he's ready to shoot there. But I don't think that pass was on. I think it was too close. Everything was getting too close. This one again is. Uh, I think with this one, he should square that one. Get the two nil. Everybody could calm down because if I'm going to be totally honest, they look a little bit tired. For me, that just looked a little bit tired, and I feel like it's not every chance, Gaffer. You have to make a chance and, and try and attack Chelsea. Keep the ball. They played a lot, a lot of football the other day. Two wonderful saves, I've got mm. to say, from Petrovic. Mm. Really were. The one down his side and, and the left was fantastic. Yeah. That one was reactional. But I think because Havertz. Messed up the first one. That was in his mind. That's yeah. why he's gone. I'm shooting. Yeah. He got them the wrong way round. Yeah. Let's be fair. Yeah. And uh, he should have been sliding yeah. Trossard in. We need to have a look at a challenge from Nicholas Jackson that yeah. actually wasn't even a free kick. Unbelievable. In the game. Um, what was your interpretation of this on Tommy uh, Asu? As soon as as soon as you saw it, when you see that, um, and people say, "Oh, when you see it in slow motion, it doesn't make any difference." You know there that there's a problem. The ball's gone. I'm not. You know, I'm not talking about intent. The ball's gone, and then you look, bang, that. It's probably a red for me. Look, he's over the ball. You know, he's dangering the opponent. I don't know what that, what, what, what's that? What is, I can't understand, Steve, why that's not given. Is it because he didn't give him a yellow so you can't look back at it? So it wasn't given on field. VAR checked it and we think their interpretation was a yellow card and obviously they can't get involved in yellow cards. Wow. At least a yellow card. But if they thought it was a red, then they can get involved. Bordering on red. Peter Banks in VAR. So yeah. how, how is, is, is that not... Da look at it, look. Look at that, look. Yeah. Is that not dangerous play? Well, I think, again, you know, I don't know. Gee. The referee's got to have a look at that in, again. Oh. In some way, shape But, but, but VAR didn't tell him to, so... Well, that's, that's the problem, then. Someone's got to, to be strong enough to say, mm. that's a dangerous tackle, that is. Um, talking of dangerous, Chelsea have had opportunities yeah. in front of the Arsenal goal, Glenn. I think Maurizio will be well pleased, in a way, that it's only 1-0. They've, yeah. they've had so many balls that have flashed across the box. This is great pace. This is what I said earlier, Steve, yeah, about but... him playing out wide left. Possibly. I don't think he's a centre forward. But look at the pace he's got. He's got him behind. A little bit unfortunate uh, that he hasn't got a goal there. Um, but they're, they're, Chelsea have got themselves forward with bodies at, at the right time. They do look a threat. And at 1-0, need, Arsenal need the second goal. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. But this is why I don't think he's a centre forward. Yeah. Ian, take over. Yeah, for, honestly, <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't explain why he's taking it. Why, why his hand's going up there. Why he's not looking. Is he, I think there, when you look at that again, if we could see that again, I think he thinks he might get kicked in the yeah, face. I think it will. Really? I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's what, that's the only way, that's the only way I can actually fathom why he's not just looking at that ball to head it in the net. I think he thinks he's going to get kicked in the face. He's, he's protected himself. That's what we're saying. A, a proper centre forward. You get kicked get in the kicked. face. If there's a goal on the end of it, yeah. he'd have done it. Yeah, you get kicked put, in the you face. You get kicked to get whatever. Balls it's in the brilliant net. as well because then you can go down after you've scored. Everybody's cheering you. And then you can go, <laughs> I've been kicked in the face. And when you get up, you get this massive <laughs> applause. And it Beautiful. never once ruined your good looks, right? That's the main thing. <laughs> uh, Arsenal. Ferdinand, Martin Keown, and Joe Cole watching with me. And Rio, it was the perfect start for the Gunners. Yeah. 
here ahead inside four minutes. Yeah, but listen, any team, but you when you're going for the title, you want to get yourself your feet under the table very early and get a goal, get the advantage, and they've done that. They were aggressive in the first opening uh, phases of the game. Really nice ball into the front man. But there you see Declan Rice takes up position there. He says to the young fullback, were you going to come in with me or are you going to stay wide? They don't come out of Declan. And he does what all experienced midfielders can do, go in and drive, commit, and then lays it off. It's a wonderful finish. I didn't agree with the guys in commentary. I thought the, the goalkeeper couldn't do much there. It's too quick. Yeah, I mean, look, young defender. We know it's his first start in a Chelsea shirt there. He just gets, he gets turned inside, inside out there. And then, look, a lot of power, strength on that ball. I'm never happy with my goalkeeper lending it to the near post. Yeah. But nonetheless, the speed that comes at him, I don't think he can react there. Do you know what? That, that first 10 minutes of Chelsea's season, like, you, 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 they, they played themselves back into the game. They made chances. But I think it comes with Havertz comes off. Badashili has got to go with him and set the tone early on in the game. Oh, you must be thinking all week, I'm, I'm planning against Havertz, I'm going to go on, I'm going to stop. And the first five minutes, he's let him stroll into midfield and it was so passive. And then Paul Gilchrist, he's got his, his work cut and he's got Declan Rice running at him and Tross on the outside. So it, it, it was just spells in the game that crossed Chelsea in that half. Yeah, they did settle into it. It was Nicholas Jackson, guys, though, lucky to certainly not get a yellow card and, and then to perhaps not be sent off for that challenge on Tommy Asin. Uh, uh, we all couldn't believe that it wasn't even looked at by VAR. We couldn't believe. We've seen so many instances this season as bad of, if not, not even anywhere like, uh, as, as bad as this. And you think to yourself, wow, they've been sent off and they've definitely looked at it. This was a reckless challenge, I thought. It was checked and cleared wow. by VAR, oh, so it was looked I'd love them to come and explain well, that, that to me, please. Yeah, well, I mean, that's stunning. I, I think we saw Arteta get booked later in the game. I think maybe he was complaining Trossard was booked, and we see that, and he... You know, it hasn't even been booked for it. But we don't know that they didn't think it was a yellow card because, because they can't recommend an intervene for a yellow card, but, but certainly didn't. But that's where the rule change needs to happen then because that, that, you, you can't say that that's okay. That's reckless. Yeah, but what's the referee doing? He was frustrated at, that, at this time of the game. This is the first 10 minutes. This is where the referees have to have an understanding of the football. Chelsea had a terrible start. They're losing. Jackson's not in it. He need, they, needed, they need to understand that.